Okay, here we are today with a Singer 500A. And to start with, this door was not on. Well, it was hanging. And I repaired that. I will have to get another one of these because one of the little tabs on the one side is broken. Fortunately, the spring is still there, so I won't have to replace that. Just the spool pin itself. Um, everything else looks to be intact. I'm doing a little bit of an assessment to see if everything is okay. The motor runs good. I put a little oil on it to make sure nothing was in distress before I turned that motor. Um, mm -hmm. We've got a pretty good bit of um, crud. I'll, I'll call it crud. Crud, which is to be expected from a machine of this age. Just some really nasty, let me get this, come on focus for me, focus, 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 really goopy stuff going on there. So we're going to get that all cleaned up, see there, you can see that, that's going to look new-ish, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. You can see just a lot of really old gunky stuff. Mm, gunky stuff. And, um, okay, come on, focus for me. There we go. So, I'm going to pop that top off. Let me take these screws out and get this to. Come off of here. It has a one top hat cam. I believe it is a, I want to call it a scallop stitch. No, I'm not a, zigzag is like my most favorite stitch. <laughs> um, so I guess the, the scallop cam is, is, is cool. There we go. This is a really neat machine, in my opinion. I like the color, the kind of warm, beige, chocolate brown. Oops, come on. I thought I had a hold of that with my fingers. It's, that's a slick little character. got to watch when I take these screws out because this... This uh, front door will fall off too. Let's take that off. It needs to be cleaned up as well. But when you take this top piece off, get a hold of that because it will come crashing down if you do not. Ask me how I know. Or don't. Okay. I'm going to see. That is uh, pretty... Pretty gunky. Okay, so that's the um, preliminary walkthrough. It looks like our, th our thread tension assembly is in good shape. It'll need to be cleaned up. I would suspect that, I think I might have blown these feed dogs. Yes, I did. It was like, I pulled the bottom off of this. This has a bottom plate. And I have it right there. The bottom plate, I had to take it outside and brush it off with a brush. This was the day I brought it home, and I was just curious about how bad it really was. It looked like somebody was doing some felting of wool in the bottom of this uh, these feed dogs. It was so matted in there, it was almost suspect like an animal had curled up and made a nest in there. It was absolutely horrible. So no wonder people stop using these machines and say, oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. It just won't stitch anymore. Huh. Well, I'll give you a clue. But this is a really nice little machine. It's got all these handy little household features. 
anything you'd want to do. You know, it's got this darning, darning mode down here. See, you see this thing with the feed dogs? It's, it's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I don't have the manual to this machine. This is my first time with one of these particular ones to fix up. So it'll be a good um, learning experience for me. And um, I almost want to keep this one for myself. But this one over here, this is a beauty. Focus, come on, focus. This is my little um, nickel-plated. Now, maybe somebody else can clear this up for me. They say this is a 1588. But I'm told that only the 1591s came with a potted motor. Um... So it must be a 1591. I had never seen the nickel-plated one. But isn't that... Isn't that a beauty? Yesterday, I went through this machine, completely through this machine, and overhauled it. And it was working beautifully. However... I had not removed the balance wheel, something I normally do, and I couldn't get stop motion to work for my bobbin. I had to take a block of wood and a towel and a hammer and I had to pound on it for an hour just to remove the balance wheel and get that stop motion problem corrected. Now it works perfectly. Thank goodness I got that working. My next project, 2012. That will be my personal machine. I have hunted for one and hunted for one. This is a Centennial. It's a beauty. I found this one and it didn't have a foot pedal or a cord. Luckily in my box of, oh, why did that come with that machine kind of things I had the exact one it needed. Lucky me. Really lucky. So that saved me a bundle and it runs like a champ. So excited about that. All right, here in Singerland, just give you a little wide view of Singerland. Let's see if we can get a peek of the red eye over there. There's a 66 here. Had some really bad bed scratches. I did a little touch up on the paint. And over here, sleeping child. Over here I have, buried under my various projects, I have a 12K. And if you've seen my video of this working, I did a complete restoration on this 12K and it was a challenge. It had been in a garage with greasy tools all over the top, so it's a fun little machine. Um, down here I have um, Model 28 and... Um